Okay, Bob here, and this is our first uh, video we're making for making our hit and miss ice cream maker. We're going to use a six quart ice cream maker hit and miss uh, engine here. This is a 1934 Maytag 92, and uh, bought it here locally. And uh, it looked like it was in pretty good shape, but when we hit the pedal, it only uh, would fire every once in a while. So, at a little bit closer inspection, uh, took out the gas tank fill plug and it's completely full of uh, junk and also took out the carburetor and you can see on the inside there it's still completely full of garbage but one of the biggest reasons it wasn't working is it's missing the uh, check valve on the uh, bottom of the inlet tube for the carburetor so for sure it wasn't going to run it also looks like if you look on the inside here it looks like there's some play both end play on the uh, crankshaft and also some play uh, as I rotate it. So the flywheel rotates about a quarter inch and it seems like uh, maybe the main bearing or the rod bearing, uh, or the rod pin is a little bit loose. Uh, also when you look over here, the spark plug wire uh, is broken. So uh, that could be another reason why it wouldn't run. So we were really hoping to be able to use this without rebuilding it. Uh, however, uh, it looks like we're going to have to rebuild it. So uh, already bought a few parts from the Maytag shed and talked to Zach and uh, we're going to try to clean out the gas tank and see if we can get it running to see how well it runs. Uh, but it looks like we're going to have to uh, rebuild this and then we'll be able to start working on the ice cream maker. I just wanted to show you uh, the engine. It is free so it does uh, rotate and it feels pretty tight so uh, it looks like it was rebuilt once you can tell it was rebuilt once because there's uh, overspray on the carburetor so uh, looks like they didn't paint the parts before they assembled them uh, but it was rebuilt once looks like it's going to have to be uh, rebuilt again so uh, feels pretty loose but again uh, it won't stay running so we'll clean the gas tank out I'm hoping to find the check valve uh, rolling around the bottom of the gas tank there. Uh, I already tried to loosen the bolts uh, to get the gas tank uh, free from the base of the motor but the bolts are really tight so could not get them free and I'm afraid of breaking them right now so uh, I'm gonna soak them in a little bit of uh, some penetrant uh, or liquid wrench to see if I can get them loosened up. That would be a whole lot easier to clean the gas tank if I was, if I was able to uh, to get the bolts loose. Don't see a spark right now, but when I first uh, changed spark plugs, I bought these uh, 3095 auto lights from the Maytag shed and was able to see a spark, not seeing it now. So uh, the wire could be broken, also the condenser could be bad. So we'll just have to take it apart and make sure, uh, at least start with replacing the wire and make sure we get a spark. Okay, that's all for now.